All right, guys, here's the promise video I made, or I said I'd make, uh, showing you a little bit about a Unertal. This is the, what's called the Ultra Varmint, two inch, two inch because the objective lens, you know, they measure it by two inches back then. Calibrated head, which just means you can adjust it for focus, uh, parallax, blah, blah, blah. Um, I know a lot of people always ask about the spring. The spring is for recoil. And I'll show you here in a second, but during recoil, the gun moves back and it lets the scope go forward and return it. As you can see here, it returns it into, into position. The reason it's like that is because the inertial is actually externally adjustable. You can see here how the elevation and windage pushes against it with the spring plunger. Not, you won't see many people freak out over, over that, but it's got three points. One just that bottom left there just keeps it in, just holds it in place. You turn this to raise or lower, left, right, and it moves the scope, left or right for, for adjustment. This is lets it uh, move in place holds it. One of the things about a Unertal is people think that the higher the recoil, the more tension you need, but that's not true. If you're shooting a rim fire, you need to put it up pretty tight, but something like this center fire, you don't really need it to be, to be much. You, if you've read Carlos Hathcock's book, you'll, you'll hear references of, or the, even in World War II, a guy shooting the sniper rifle and then have to pull it back into place. And that's because they didn't have the spring on it the for some reason the marine corps thought that sand would get in between these parts here and and scratch the tube in the pacific so they they would take another clamp and put it to the rear as a spare not to limit the movement but it was a spare people think it was there to limit the movement but it's just a spare but so without the spring the scope will move forward every time you fire it and that will affect your zero, so you'd have to pull it back every time you fired it. That's what the spring is to keep you from having to worry about that. The uh, it's got a lens cover, of course. This is to adjust it. You've got this is a little rusted there. This is a restored one, but you loosen this piece. It lets you adjust for your focus. It cams the inside of it. It's pretty simple. It's not. You know, it's not that complicated. The rear shows you the power that you've got right here. These two screws, there's a screw on each side right here. That's actually for letting you adjust the crosshairs to, to center them up, level them. 